set for a boot camp cardio freak training session. This weight, this workout, all you're gonna need is a pair. So two, and if you only have one, whatever, you'll deal with it, you'll figure it out. A pair or one, if you have a pair of the same weight kettlebells, you wanna use kettlebells. If you need to, you can use just dumbbells, but kettlebells are really gonna work better, but if you have to use a pair of dumbbells. And we're talking light to medium weight. Like I'm using, I think, a 30 pounder or something like that. 26 pounder. 26. A pair. So you don't need it to be heavy. There's a cardio workout. It's not our strength day. It just happens to be that we're using kettlebells. We've used some weight. It's going to be, you need a little bit of space to just shuffle. So if you only have a small distance of space to shuffle, you're going to get more of the exercise, the kettlebell exercise in. If you have more space to shuffle, like we're going to be shuffling across this driveway here, you'll get more cardio in and less of the lifts. You decide how far you want to shuffle, how far across the floor you want to shuffle. Let's get loosened up, starting with our solar circles. These are the BS shoulder circles. BS? Oh. What? Bishop slap. What did you say? <laughs> say bishop. The bitch slap shoulder circle. Stretch that shoulder. Fling the chest open. Stretch oh. the other side. Just holding it for a second each. We're getting the ready, body ready to freaking move. Said bishop. All right, we're going to put feet wide on the shoulder width. You're going to reach out as far as you can. Then you're going to reach in between your feet where you level your feet and then behind your heels and come up, fling the chest open. Same thing, now behind, middle, forward, and come up. Go forward, middle, behind your heels, and out. Back, middle, up, and up. Whatever, it doesn't freaking matter, man. Just move your ass. Up, down, in, out, who cares? Shake it, shake those arms out, shake those shoulders out. Let's stretch those quads out real quick. You're gonna stretch, quad stretch. Quad stretch, knee hug. Knee hug. On the knee hug, if you want, you can turn the heel out a little bit to get more glute. Do what you got to do. Whatever works for you. Hold it a little longer also if you need to hold it. We're going to be shuffling non-stop in this workout. Sometimes on this workout, you'll be holding your weight. Sometimes the weight's going to be waiting for you on the ends. Each round's going to be different. Don't worry. I'll walk. You suckers. Do the whole thing. Yay. All right. Stretch. Didn't sound very enthusiastic. Stretch a quad. Quad. Knee hug. Knee hug. Quad stretch. Quad stretch, hug it, flamingo. hug it, it ain't a damn flamingo, it's a quad stretch and a knee hug. I don't care what they tell you and you're a little prank when you prance it around in your little phys ed class. Whatever they call it, PE? PE? Yeah, PE. Pointless education. All right, so you need a pair of weights. I'm going to give you a second to go get your pair of weights. A pair of kettlebells or a pair of dumbbells if you have it, but the first round, all you need is one single kettlebell or dumbbell. And the whole workout, if you have to, you can use just one. And then figure, clear your space. I'll just give you a couple seconds here for right now to clear your space to shuffle. This round, this first round, you're going to be carrying the weight with you. Both hands holding the weight at your chest. To show you. Holding it at your chest while you're shuffling. And you'll do the exercise on each end. If it's a right hand exercise, like say... If it's a single arm exercise, you'll do two reps on the right side. You'll tuck it into your chest, you'll shuffle across, and you'll do two rep, two left reps on your left side. A double arm exercise, like a double arm swing, which is only double arm one, you'll just hit two on each end. So your right arm will do reps on the right side, your left arm will do left, reps on the left side. You're gonna hold this, both hands, at your chest while you're shuffling. So just to get things rolling, we're going to take it slow and easy to get started, not slow, because we don't do anything slow. We're going fucking hard and fast. But you're going to shuffle across with two double arm swings on each end. So let's get the weight of your chest. It's still kind of really just getting warmed up a little more, so do what you got to do to get loosened up. So you're going to shuffle across to the right and hit two double arm swings. Some of these rounds I'm going to shuffle shorter just so your Instagram, Instagram, you guys have a little wiener there. We got to stay inside of the range. You're gonna hold that your chest while you're shuffling. Don't hold it down here, you're gonna get a nut knocker. Shuffle it across, and two double arm swings. Right back to your chest. When you bring it to your chest, don't whack yourself in the teeth unless you got a good dental plan. With the hips, squeeze your butt cheeks together. Glide it across, and two double arm swings. So after the swings, then tuck it in. Control this at your chest while you're shuffling. Reach it out, brace the abs, Squeeze the butt, 
Line across, balls to your feet. Back to the chest. Don't come too close if I step on you one time, I'll roll my ankle. Lift it up. One swings. And put it down. These breaks are gonna be very short. Putting it down just for a second, just to get you out of your arms for a second. Shake those arms out. Do what you need to do. This is going to be single arm swings. Two single arm swings. Two left swing, single arm swings on the left side. Shuffle across to your right. Two single arm swings on the right side. If it looks like I'm saying left, right, it's because the Instagrams, the Facebookers do it backwards. So you're still shuffling. Hold that weight at your chest. Let's do it. Shuffle across to the right. Two right arm swings. Bring it back to your chest. Shuffle across to the left. Two left arm swings. Zip across. Two right arm swings on the right. Up to your chest. You're holding it up at your chest while you're shuffling. So you're in complete control. Positive control of that weight while you're shuffling. So it's not just dangling down by your nuts. Good workout over there. Left arm swings. Chest, zip it. They're cramming. I don't want to have to keep looking behind me, man. You cannot be able to work. Pay attention. I don't want to step on your foot. Zip across. Left arm swing. Zip it. Right arm swing. And good. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Just getting the blood flowing. Barely just getting warmed up. So we're gonna go cleans. Two right arm cleans on the right side, two left arm cleans on the left side. Clean is right up to here. From in between, whip it into that shoulder rack. Let's do it. Right arm cleans, right side. So do what you got to do. Smooth transitions. Shake it. Shake it. This one is going to be two push presses. So you're holding it here. The debate whether or not it's going to be two push presses, but let me see. We're going to decide here. Yeah. By the time you get it to here, better off doing clean to press. We're going to do two clean to press right there on each side. Two right on the right. So no push press. We're going to clean to press. We're going to skip the push press because you're already holding it in a weird place. So it's going to make better flow. We're stopping. Might as well do the whole thing. So it's going to be two. Clean to press each end of your shuffle. To right, clean to press on the right. Would you stop poking people? You're a creeper. Oh, Don't touch my shit. Don't be poking people for my shit. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Get away from the screen. Who pokes people on my space? Me and Midgey. Let's go. To right. No, I didn't. To right arm. Clean to press on the right side. 
Get it back into your chest. Shuffle across. And two left arm. Clean your press on the left side. Get back into your chest. Do what you got to do to transition. Smooth transition without yanking on your elbows or shoulders or wrists. Whip, dip, snap it up. Dot, drop, whip, dip, snap. Yeah. Slide across the floor. Shuffle in. Chuck it up. Time. Snatch is coming up. Two right arm snatch on the right, two left arm snatch on the left. It's going to be a very, very short break. You don't need much of a break here. Just still getting rolling. Two, two snatches on each side. On the side you're on, start the free snatch. So we'll go left arm snatch. That's whipping from bottom to top in one count. Get it into your chest, secure it, and then shuffle across. That, that's a little mini break there in between just to get it locked in to your chest while you're shuffling. Whip, two left arm snatch, left. Right arm snatch, right, tuck it, glide it across. I'm going off the Instagram so you can see a little baldy there. That is the Instagrams. I know, but I'm going off it. You're staying, you stay on Instagram, you're too short. For the most part, at least down on one side of Instagrams. Glide across, all Instagram sees is me zipping by every time. I'm not doing any extra. Secure it at your chest before you do the shuffle. I'm securing it and then going off. So don't do it while you're moving. You'll end up pulling on your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, some shit. Whip. Boom. Boom. Time. All right, we're still sticking with the shuffle, with holding with both arms. For a double arm, jack press up. Ooh. Sucker. Jack Sucker couldn't up. figure that out on your own. You are slipping. Jack press up. Well, the California up. mind has gotten to you. Did they let you smoke weed in second grade or whatever grade you're in? What grade you're in? Fifth. Fifth grade? Is it like part of fifth grade, like class in California, passing around the weed? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> They put weed in your brownies. Smoking, That's what people do. They put the weed in their brownies and cupcakes. They just weed brownies. Yeah, all kinds of edibles and shit. Yeah. Who is Talk with us? Are you guys working out or are you just coming and watching? Arlene, Paul. Hello, guys. I'm trying to scroll down. Not poking anybody. Jamie. All right, let's roll. So it's. Double arm, jack press up. Two on the right, it's already at your chest. Shuffle across, it stays here. Jack press up on the left. Are we starting? Yeah. No, I did like eight of them for nothing. You ain't gonna burn no calories watching me. You're the kind of person that puts the treadmill on start and sits on a chair and watches it and say you did three miles on a treadmill, ain't you? <laughs> one, two. He even looks like one, look. <laughs> I'm calling back. I didn't say anything. I called you a fat old lady. 
I'm just joking. Like, so look at this kid. This kid is so strong and powerful. He's working out at 5 a.m. before school starts. He knows that he's busy in the evening. That's Are, you? Boy. Are you done talking back there? No. Just starting. Why are you it's a chunk of iron. It's a cannonball. That's worth like. Wait, how much dollars is this per pound? Don't worry about it. Watch your feet. I can still go and talk. How have you not run out of words for your life already? Like the human voice box has to be limited to how many words it can get out in a lifetime. How have you not run out of your quota by now? How? Are you gonna get this out? Time. Next coming up, last one for this round is we'll split jack press up. There are times you can do jack press out, but for this type of weight that we're using, wouldn't be very smart on your shoulders, which is why we're not doing jack press out. Only the different variations of jack press up. So we are here doing split jack. Now back up so you can see on the Facebooks where your feet are just going front to back. Two presses up, that's it. Double arm, and you go to the shuffle. Two, jack, split, jack, press up on the right. Two, split, jack, press up on the left. Let's roll. Last one for the round. Finally done with round number one. We're only doing 10 rounds, don't worry. Just 10, not 15 or 20 at a time. And this is only round number one that took like 45 minutes. Enjoy, suckers. Jack, press up, split, jack, press up. Get your feet lined up, square it up, and then do the shuffle. Abs need to be tight, especially on this one. When you're pushing that up and your feet are going front to back, core is tight. Zip it across. I'll run you into the ground. Ha! Time. That is the end of the round. Steven. Russian, Russian, tell him something. See, he throws me under the bus right now. Tell him something. He is run. He ran out, out of content right now. He needs to go and sit down. You should see him. Now he's so out of breath. He's going. <laughs> That's what happens when you work out just once a month. And I have finally the freedom to poke everybody. So awesome. I'm gonna wave to you guys. Some of you I can't wave. So guys, what's going on with you out there? Who is working out with us? Who is not? And who's been working out every single day? Is your workout non-negotiable? Is it on the schedule every single day? What else is on the schedule? Just share with us because we love to always hear from you. Because we not only leaders in the industry as far as the workouts and our application for workouts at home, but also leaders in life coaching. So the discipline, the habits, is that's what we do on a daily basis. And because we've done it ourselves, we can share with you. No one could teach you something that they don't have it because and we can so we trying to spread the best word out there and create the courses for you guys so you can go at your own time and create the disciplines and the habits that you can implement in every single day in every single part of your life so we call our operate to dominate life coaching when it involves the mind the body and the business so i wanted to hear from you right now what has been the biggest struggle so far what are the areas of your life you're lacking awareness and now all right i'm gonna come and save you people no 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 no, no. i'm gonna come and save you people who's got a dollar you gotta start giving me your dollar it's just shush now i'm talking Give me a dollar for a nickel or something Shit. so it starts with self-awareness if you're not self-aware of the about. things that are happening in your life you won't be able to move forward so now the self-awareness is grab your kettlebell self-awareness really is when you are babbling be self be self-aware when you are just babbling too much and no one knows what the fuck you're talking about anymore that's self-awareness that's the ultimate level of self-awareness <laughs> <laughs> hi 
All right, let's roll. So you now know the order of all the exercise you're doing on the ends. You just now have to know how are we going to get there. That's all we're going to change this round is how we're getting from side to side. How? Still going to be a shuffle, well, well, except check it out. Here's the thing. What's going on in there? She's chopping the tree. The direction you're moving to, that is the hand you're going to hold it in. So you're doing a single arm hold on the shuffle. So check it out. I'm going to the right. I'm going to hold this in my right arm. I'm shuffling across. What was my first exercise? Swing. Double arm swing. Two double arm swings. From there, I need to get it to my left. So you're going to clean it up there. Shuffle it across. Two double arm swing on the left. So it's just single arm hold. Wait, did we start? Yeah. What the fuck does it look like we did? Of course we start. I'm almost, I start. I'm almost done with the damn round. Double yeah. arm swing. Get it up to that. that. Get up to that shoulder rack quickly and flip into two double arm swings. Lift it up. Get too close behind me. Get it to the left arm. So you're holding it with the left arm as you shuffle to the left. And then, obviously, on the single arm exercise, you'll do your single arm reps on that side as you shuffle over. You'll see it next round. This one's double arm, so you don't get the full flow. The double arm actually screws up our flow a little bit. But then think also switching arms later is going to screw up our flow. Whip. Get it up to the shoulder rack. Clean it up there. Two. And clean. You're actually getting a shitload of cleans this round. So I'm bringing it back up to that shoulder rack. Whip it. Dip it. Snap it in. Lock it in place. Shuffle it across. Double arm swing. Rack it. Shuffle it. Tons of core here. Keep it tight. Time. Next round is going to be single arm swing. So you're going to hold it in that right arm shoulder rack. While you're shuffling to the right, you're going to get there. Drop it into two swings. After two swings, you're going to clean it up to the left side. So then you're going to shuffle across to the left and the left side. So that's going to be the transition point there. After the two exercises. You don't need much of a break after that round. It's like a second just to get the weight out of your hands. A quick little touch on the stretch of your legs. Quick little shake on your noodles, arm noodles, and we're ready to freaking roll. I'm gonna start here with a shuffle. So I'm gonna rack it in my left arm. I'm shuffling to my left side. I get over to the left, stays in the left for two left arm swings. From there, I'm transitioning, getting up to the right side and shuffling to my right for two right arm swings. Did you start? I'm gonna whoop your ass, boy. Shuffle to the left, but in the left hand. Left Probably swing. opposite side so they can see it. Okay. Are we going through this again? <laughs> As you confuse the fuck out of the, the fine people? <laughs> Look, what a nice coordination going. You over here, I'm over here. Right, people? No, are you confusing the shit out of them? You're confusing the shit out of us. Who's agreeing with me? Hearts for me. Flip, dip, left arm, two Couldn't left arm swings. The opposite side. After the two, look at the smooth transition. It goes right to the right arm. Whoa, look at the control. Control your damn body. Control the damn weight. Whip it up. Shuffle the rack. Glide it across. Flip, dip, snap it, lock it. game coming up for cleans double arm cleans or two not double arm cleans two cleans on the right side two left arm cleans on the left side whatever dry side you're shuffling to that's arm your shoulder racking so you're gonna have a shoulder rack flow right to do cleans after the two you're gonna need to transition however you need to to the left arm transitions by passing it over or if you want to drop it down so you can clean it up to get it up there safely up to you how you get it there just keep it smooth don't be yanking and jerking and flip-flopping your ass 
all over the place. We're going in a couple freaking seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's roll. You're right. You're right. So I'm going to start with it in my left shoulder rack. I'm going to shuffle to my left. Shuffle across. Two left arm cleans. That's the bottom half. Comes right to the shoulder rack. I'm gonna drop it and clean it up to get up there. It makes it a better flow than just stopping and handing it off. That's like a weird chop. So at least this, look, drop it down, clean it up left, and shuffle. Oh, look at that. Smooth like mother flipping butter. Butter's Did you just get excited because I said butter? I don't like butter. I hate butter. Oh. You used to like it. You! You work out for it and they don't like butter. Huh? <laughs> they don't like no. butter? Move to the other side. Shuffle to the right. Then to the right arm. Can we just do one clean? Because then it can do three cleans. Oh no, three cleans. You don't have to. You can just transition over. It'll be all sloppy and choppy. You probably knock your teeth out. Whatever floats your boat, kid. Glide across. No. <laughs> You're about as sharp as a bowling ball. Two cleans on the right. Switch to get a smooth transition to get it over there to the other side. Cruising along. Picking up my ass, kid. Flip. Switch. Flip it, dip it, second time, rack it, oh, switch, you almost followed me, almost followed my fuck up -ery. flip it, ha, switch it, and shuffle it, huh, long round because it was cruising, only bringing two at a time, three, yes, yeah, sharp as a bowling ball, someone caught on to that. All right, shake it. So next, if you've been paying attention, you know we have clean to press. Same game. You're holding the right arm. You shuffle it across with the right arm. You do two clean to presses with the right arm on the right side. You do the, the clean switch to the left arm. You shuffle across to the left side with it racked in your left arm. Two clean to presses on the left arm on the left side. And then you do the old switcheroo before you go to the other freaking side. We don't need much of a break. Cruising, man. Cruising, man. What are we at? Tyson, how many, oh, shit, how minutes, many right? wings flap does how many vert do? Uh, 78 per second. 78 per second, a hummingbird? Did you know a hummingbird flaps its wings 78 per second? 78 times per second. We just saw one flying here. That sounds impossible. It's so crazy, right? Oh, did you know that the speed. European swallow fly can fly uh, 11 meters per second? The what? A swi the uh, fly a urine? swallows urine? No. What? A European swallow fly. European swallow urine? What? Swallow European fly. Swallows Ur urine. Urine. Oh, Who swallows oh urine? God. European. Urine. Who your know urine is? Oh God! All right, let's European go. European swallow round. fly. Swallows urine. Oh my God! It can fly up to eleven meters per second. Whoa, that's a fast fly. So in fifteen Jesus. seconds. Jesus. All right. So we're gonna put that in your right arm. Or whatever I'm in, I'm going to shuffle to the right. <laughs> right. I'm kind of doing this whole workout thing. This ain't Nat Geo, okay? What the heck is Nat Geo? It's across the National Geographic Channel. Nat Geo. Ooh. Clean to press. Two on the right. I almost snatched and I had to cut it mid-snatch. Transition to the left arm so it's racked and I could shuffle across in the left arm. Flip. Too many dip. Reps. Punch it up. Flip. Dip. Punch. Drop for a clean Transition. Watch your toes, kid. Flip. Dip. Clean to press. On the right for two. Smooth transition. Clean to the left and zip it out. Throw it 
up, flip, dip, chuck it into the sky. Clean over to the left. Transition smooth. Very smooth transition. Throw it up, clean the press. Clean the switch. That's sad. I'm using 26 and using 13. I'm using 15. And this is discarding. Wait. Flip. Clean. Press. Clean. Press. And then a clean transition to the left arm. Zip it across. Left arm. Clean too clean to press left arm. Snatch and then jack press up and split jack press up. Three. Two. Two clean to press. Left side, suckers! I just snatched my head out. Poor kettlebell. Alright, shake it, stretch it, Mommy? snatches, coming up. Nobody's watching mommy's. <laughs> no, all of our all of our Instagrams are totally. We're telling your followers spin. that you've started a live video. Hang on, we're telling them. Oh, look. Oh, so, chop chop. This all is restricted. Remember, this is a whole sixty minutes of a workout. So, if you jump, if they jump right in, we are halfway through the workout. They have to start from the very beginning. This video will be posted on my on my feed so you guys can follow right along with everything you just need a kettlebell or a dumbbell how is everybody doing here good evening i see a couple of Don't you guys touch my phone. <laughs> get your slimy paws off my phone all right snatch is coming up let's do it i'm gonna clean it up to the right side i'm gonna shuffle to my right Two right arm snatches on the right side. Yay! Let's roll. roll. Flip. Boom. One. Two. Smooth transition. Clean it to the left so I can shuffle to the left and hit my two snatches on the left. There's the flow. Whip, dip, punch it. Whip, dip, snap. Transition, clean it. Get too close, kid. Bottom to top in one count as you're doing on this snatch. Clean is just getting us at a halfway to the shoulder rack. So you're ready to move. Two snatch right. Boom. All right, shake it. You know, we got jack press coming up. We're going to go pretty quick because we got to finish on the second round because we still have to get a whole entire other round in. I thought there were 10. A whole entire other rounds. Seven whole other rounds. Eight other whole rounds. We got double arm. You're still shuffling with just single arm when you get to the end. Depending on your weight, if your weight's light enough, you're going to do jack press up. Single arm at the right. If your weight's a little too heavy, you'll go double arm. So on my right side, I might go double or single arm. On the left side, I might go double arm. 
just because left shoulder is a little tweaked from training that BS, the BS warm up that we did earlier. That's a rotator cuff. It's a little tweaked. All right, let's do it. Screw that. Give me a damn break. Mm -hmm. So it's at the right in your single arm rack, mm -mm. right arm, shuffling to my right. To jack press up, right arm. Transition. That's a weird transition, but this one I think we can just hand it over to the left. Let's see if I can do it. To jack press. Ah, up oh, left arm. That sucks. All right, we're just gonna do a transition like that. So you get over to the left side. However, you need to get to the left side for the shuffle. And jack press up. I'm going to transition to a double arm jack press up my left side. Because it doesn't feel right on my left side. You do what you got to do. Right arm, I'm going to try and keep single arm. Transition to the left. Shuffle. I'm going to transition to double arm. Jack press up. Right arm. Shuffle. Ha. Ha. Get to the double. Zip it. Right arm. This one's a little slower around, but a little harder around, so we're not gonna have to do too many of them. Why you start wearing your shoulder down too much? Time. Because we still have split jack press up. So we don't need a ton of them. You're gonna get plenty. You get plenty of shoulder work. The difference between working hard, working smart, combining the two, finding that freaking sweet spot. We're not being dumb about the training you're doing. All right, last one for this round. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Save the recovery for the, for the last round. Let's go. So I'm putting the right arm, shuffling across to my right side. I'm going to go split jack press up, right arm for two. I'm going to transition to my left arm for the shuffle to my left. Split jack press up for two with the left, or I'm going to do double arm on my left side. You can do single arm if your right arms or shoulders are feeling good or if your weight's light enough. Split jack, press up, transition left arm, shuffle, split jack, press up. Transition right arm. Split jack and press. Left, shuffle left, split, ooh, split jack. Press up on the left side. Get that weight back into the right arm. Single arm as you're shuffling. That should be fine. Unless you be, hey, listen, if you have to, you look, you just shuffle with both arms on. If you're losing it, if your arms are fading, you just hold both if you have to. Do whatever the hell you gotta do. Shuffle it. Time. All right, here's what you're gonna do before you take your break. Before you, oh, we don't take a break. Before you take your recovery. You're gonna take one kettlebell and put it on one side of your shuffle. That's why I told you to get a pair in the beginning. Your second one of the same weight, you're gonna put on the right side of your shuffle. And then you're gonna go hydrogenate and listen to some Russian babbling. I strongly suggest you download Google Translate so you can understand what the fuck she's saying. Tell them something! Tell them something! Tell them something! Let's talk about timing, guys. Timing before your sessions, because that's a common thing for people. I mean, overall nutrition, it's so easy, guys, but a lot of people don't understand. You need to have the right things and at the right times that are two components. I talk about this in details in my course, Nutrition 360. So you can purchase the course of a 21 lessons, life lessons that will give you a whole whole picture of how to stay fit for life there is no diets included in it there is pure knowledge of over 20 years studies and case studies on all over 20,000 people for the, for those of you who knows us we had we were running a very very successful uh, multi-location business in New York when with boot camp and boxing but timing you should have about two hours before your workout before you uh, uh, without food so what I mean by that, a lot of you, a lot of clients would 
want to get the energy and boost their energy and enthusiasm before the workout and enthusiasm. an hour before they will the just tongue, start eating. Tons are ties enthusiasm. But the thing is that you cannot do that because then your body will be busy digesting. So you want about two hours window. So what you can do, you can have two hours before, you can have a protein shake, right? Something light, something that will not sit in your stomach. Because if you time it wrong, you might not be getting the right energy. That's why you might, you might be feeling sluggish at the workout. So people ask, ask us all the time, what do we do that we get such an amazing energy in those workouts? Well, it's just a freak family. We work and out we'll and cocaine in the morning. <laughs> and the, <laughs> here comes the fun part. Nothing like a good <laughs> snort of cocaine in the morning to kickstart the day. He just ruined my whole presentation. What, you can make more, you can make a much higher profit off of cocaine than you can Herbalife, okay? I'm trying to make some motherfucking money here. Strip, strip, strip. Who's gonna put the dollar bills here? No, not dollar bills, hundred dollar bills. All right, so now you have your one weight on each side. The exercises are gonna stay the same, but now I'm expecting a much faster shuffle because you'll have no weight. This is giving our arms a break. When you get to the right, you're hitting your two reps on the right side. The only problem is you're gonna have to go all the way low down to get your weight, obviously. So don't, just, just don't. Flop over and screw your back up. Squat down to get it down there. Hit your two exercises. Put it down carefully. Do you know a majority of the gym, the gym injuries, I forget the number, but it's a high percentage of injuries that people get in the gym is not even from the exercises themselves. It's from the lift off and the put down of the weight. Or at least that was a while ago, a, year, a few years ago, that was a huge statistic and study they did. That Here just, we go. So you're set, you would do perfect, but then when you're done, you would go and reach and put it back on a rack like this and end up pulling their back out or pulling a hammy or a butt string or something. So let's do it, let's roll. Let's do it the right so way. So you have a weight on each side. I have one way here, one way here. So you're gonna start on one side. <coughs> I'm gonna I... shuffle to my left and I'm gonna hit my two double arm swings. I'm gonna place it down, look, under control. I'm gonna shuffle to my right and hit two right arm swings or two double arm swings on the right. Watch those guys. Zip it across. So your arms are getting a break on the shuffle, which means you should be shuffling faster, much faster. And we strategically say this for the end when your arm's going to be more tired so you could get a little faster. Burnout round! Yeah. Because guess what? We're not taking a break in between exercises, suckers. All right, we're switching to single arm swings on the fly. So whatever you are, I'm going to shuffle across to left single arm swings, left side. So we're doing all of these straight through on this round. Two, bring it down with control though. Oh, fuck. And two right arm swings on the right side. Whip it. Down. Zip it across. Left arm swings on the left. Zip across. Right arm swings right side. Put it down with control. Don't fuck your back up. Or you yank your shoulder. Burnout round! We're going to transition to cleans wherever you are. Just keep flowing. Shuffle to the left. Two left arm cleans on the left. Zip it. Two right arm cleans on the right. Zip across. Whip it up. Keep those abs tight. Control your back. It's late in the game. You don't want to be screwing your back up. Up and down with control. See, my head is up. My chest is lifted the whole time. Whip, dip it. Snap it up. We're going to clean to press. Wherever you are, just flowing, clean, press. And it's just one clean to press. I want this fast. Zip, clean, press. Yeah, just one. I want it to be fast pace. Two will kind of chop our pace too much. But going all the way up. Clean, press left, bring it down with control. Zip across, clean, press right. We want that heart rate up through the roof. Whip it, dip it, snap it, zip it. Ha! Oh yeah. This is a good flow here with single. It's better than double. Double would really screw the flow. And yeah, I made it up on the fly right there. It was originally supposed to be double, but for some reason, single just felt right. It does, I can tell. It feels good flow for a burnout. Snatch! One snatch, that's it. Zip! Snatch left! Zip to the right! Snatch right! Snatch.
Last left. Oh yeah, we are flowing. All right, jack press up. Coming up, double arm. Jack press up. One, one time. So it's really like a power jack. Really one power jack each side, if you think about it, right? That's all yep. power jack. Power jack. Oh, that flows. Oh, that flows. I like it. Ha. Ah, that was originally supposed to be two also, but two just wouldn't flow. Change shit up on the fly. Make it better. Fuck. Split jack. Press up. Figure it out. Two. This one we're gonna do two, just because by the time you get it up. Look, Jack, press up, the alarm. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Ha! Almost there. A few more. Suck it the fuck up. Suck it the fuck up. That's one word. New word in the English language. Suck it the fuck up. One more. One more. Time. Suckers. Hi. We are done. We are done. Oh, yeah. That was a good burnaround. That felt freaking good. All right. So check it out. Minimal equipment. Minimal space. Maximum effort. Positive attitude, all it fucking takes. Positive attitude, maximum effort, done deal. And anything you're doing. Having that discipline and energy, that's the foundation, that's all you need to get this shit done every freaking day. The Freak family, we have a goal to take zero days off in 2022. <coughs> zero days off. <coughs> training every day. And we're not talking about just exercise every day, we're talking about training. We're talking about 60 minutes minimum of training every day. And. It's just to show what we're capable of. And it's also to force you, force us, to get our recovery elsewhere. Meaning, recovery in the nutrients you're eating, the food you're eating, your meal timing. Recovery with the right hydration, with the right amount of sleep, and the right quality of sleep. That's what we're recovering, because we're not getting any days off. So we don't have that luxury of recovering days off. We need to recover in between those workouts, 365 freaking days for 2022. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Also, make sure to check out the OTD online courses. There's the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge, a 40 day habit challenge for you to take. There's the Freak Nutrition 360 course, which teaches you in all areas, all possible scenarios in life, how to eat better and proper that can last you the rest of your life. Not a diet, it's a way of freaking life, a way of thinking. Installing a new nutritional operating system into your body. So check out that course as well as the daily discipline or daily domination Freak freedom scheduling mastery course to learn how to schedule your day so that you have a good day every day And every day is fucking awesome er than the last one. So check those out We got to get rolling and check tune in later today for Steve says episode number 120 I got to get rolling in the case no one told oh, of course we didn't do a hairy knuckle fist bump to finish off for kicking ass and work out. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses, little freak. Show anything you want to take them home with. No! Very, very, very normal child. I came out of your guest from. We will talk to you later. No excuses. Post the link. I posted here.